news, a major problem in the election was the shortage of ballots at precincts across Oahu. KITV4's Ryan Kalesuji joins us live from the newsroom with more. Good morning, Ryan. Mahia, good morning to you. Altogether, nearly two dozen polling places ran out of paper ballots before 6 p.m. and the voting deadline. Now, this was a scene uh, repeated at many polling sites across Oahu. Voters at Alawai Elementary and at Wilson Elementary in Kahala say they waited up to nearly an hour and a half to cast their vote after the precincts ran out of ballots. That problem only made worse at Hokulani Elementary in Lower Manoa, where a mix-up had voters voting for the wrong district. I said, she's in my district. She's got signs up. She came to my door. I know she's in my district. I want to vote for her. And then say, they said, they said, okay, everybody, hold everything. We got the wrong ballots. It's been a mess. A lot of people walked off. A lot of people were very upset about this. Um, we've been trying to gather names and serial numbers of some of the ballots, but unfortunately they don't match up with the actual ballot that was cast, which is causing a problem of how do these votes get counted. Some voters at the Hokulani precinct cast ballots in a foreign language because it was the only ballots left that had the correct district. Now, like election officials say they underestimated just how many people would turn out to vote in this general election. Governor Abercrombie said the problems in the primary and during the general election should spur on some change in state law. The executive uh, branch is no longer in charge of the uh, of the um, of the voting uh, uh, procedures now so um, I think this is something that first of all has to be examined as to what happened and why and then second honestly I think the legislature has to take a look at whether or not we want to continue to have this this kind of an operation where it, it's ostensibly independent but by the same token that means that there's no responsible executive authority then to uh, to oversee it. Now, currently in this system, each county oversees their own election. However, in a historic move, the state took over Election Day operations on the Big Island after they say communication problems from the primary had not been resolved. Now, overall, 436,000 voters, or 61 percent of the registered voters, voted in this general election. Compare that to 42 percent that participated in the primary election and 66 percent that voted in the 2008 election. But, Mahia, a lot of unanswered questions regarding this balloting area that were no doubt. It will cause a lot of discussion in the days ahead about just how the, stat, the state plans to resolve this from happening again. Wow, some really frustrated people out there. Ryan, thanks for that live report.